What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy, Asmund Gold. And today we're going to be looking at how to get all the five-man ICC achievements. And I actually do mean all of them, including Soul Power, but that does, however, require a pet. And so I just want to say that now. And so we're going to get on to the first one. The first one is called Doesn't Go to Eleven. It's from Forge Master Garfrost. Now, by the nature of this achievement and by the nature of the debuff that he puts on you, uh, most of the time it misses you because you're a higher level. And so if you're level 90 and you fail to get this achievement while killing this boss, uh, I will actually be more impressed with that than if you can kill her old Garrosh. Uh, it's actually very, very impressive to do that. Uh, all you, so pretty much this is just a burn achievement. It's not even a big deal. Uh, okay, so he's dead, and then that's it. As I said, that's it. You just kill him. It's fucking easy. Excuse me. Uh, next one here will be a little bit more challenging, and I really do mean just a little bit. Now, for this, you're going to want to have projected textures on. And if you guys don't know what that is, uh, you can go to system, uh, like graphics or whatever. I think that's what it's called. And uh, just wherever you change all the graphic settings. And make sure you have projected textures enabled and the uh, particle density on, like, at least good. Okay, and the reason for that is that after you kill the other boss uh, in Pit of Sauron and you're moving up to Scourge, uh, Scourge Lord Tyrannus, uh, you're going to go through this cave here, and this cave is going to have little, uh, little falling, um, what are they, like icicles or like uh, big like chunks of ice, I guess you could say. And if you get hit by one of these chunks of ice, you fail the achievement. And the achievement is to go through the entire, uh, I guess, go oh, it, is, it was a gauntlet. Go through the entire gauntlet without getting hit by any of the ice on the first try. And so, if you fuck this up, I don't really know if you can reset the instance to redo it. But honestly, guys, you really shouldn't even have to. This is just, like, so easy. Uh, you just have to run up here and avoid the circles. And as I said before, if you're not seeing the circles, what you want to do, the first thing you want to try is turning on projected textures. And that's really what's going to make those circles appear on the ground under you. Uh, other than that, uh, this is pretty easy to do. I don't think the mobs do any sort of slows or knockbacks. Uh, you pretty much just want to kill the mobs while you're running through there, but just focus on running, honestly. The uh, faster you get through there, the better. Um, sometimes you'll have a couple of tricky places, but usually it won't really happen. I'm, I believe you get the achievement after you kill these fallen warriors here, but I don't quite remember. Okay, there you go. I was right. All right, so anyway, uh, we're going to go on to the hard one. And uh, that's soul power. Now, soul power, as I said before, is only doable with a pet. That means a pet, I mean, not a guardian. You need a pet, like a constant pet, like a hunter or a warlock or something like that, or a mage. And so this is a uh, this is a really weird thing. And uh, the strategy that I'm going to use is one that I think that I've seen a lot of other people use. And so it kind of cooked me about a couple tries to get the strategy down. And once I got it down, it really wasn't very difficult. Now. Uh, this is in Pit of, uh, or sorry, Forge of Souls. Uh, Heroic, obviously, is Brojanum, who is the first boss. I don't know if I pronounced that right. So what you want to do is you want to walk around him like you're going to the last boss. And you want to clear out all the trash that's around you, too, by the way. And what you're going to do here is you're going to set your portal, and uh, you're going to send in your Voidwalker and have your Voidwalker attack him. Now make sure you put your Voidwalker on passive, by the way, and you're going to be doing a lot of click-to-move. And what your Voidwalker is going to do now is he's going to run there to that edge, and that edge is going to put him close enough to where you're in range of his Soul Siphon ability, and like Siphon Soul or whatever it is. Voidwalker is just doing whatever the fuck he wants right now, and so you're just going to have to give him a minute. He's never done what I told him, like, I don't, I, not for how many years. Look at him, he's coming back to me, he's scared. God, I fucking hate that thing. Look at him, look at him. He's definitely not supposed to be there at all. And so anyway, um... As soon as we have the uh, Voidwalker difficulties uh, set out, um, we can go ahead and get back to it. So this he'll su he'll summon these corrupted soul fragments. And what the corrupted soul fragments are is that they're just small little mobs, and he spawns them on his target. And whenever you're soiling them, he spawns them on uh, he t he targets someone and spawns them, and uh, he doesn't move while he casts this, which kind of makes it difficult. And in order to get the achievement, I guess I should just say this right now is that you need to actually uh, have four of them alive while you kill the boss. And by the way, they can be slowable, and so that's why I'm Affliction and not Destruction. So I can cast uh, Curse of Exhaustion on them, and that's a 50% slow. And right here, I've got two of them, and um, 
because of the fuck up at the beginning, uh, things happened a little bit, uh, kind of a way that I didn't really want them to. Uh, you, you can get right here also, and I think that you can also get them to siphon you right here. I don't remember if I was able to or not, but it was kind of difficult to uh, to kind of uh, bait him to cast these certain spells. But again, it was not impossible. And so at this point, and if one hits him, by the way, that's fine. That's not even a big deal. The important part is that he doesn't um, he doesn't uh, he doesn't eat them. Or uh, no, he has four lives. Sorry, I got confused for a second there. And so if he passes that uh, platform that he's running towards there, and he was running towards uh, towards the beginning of the instance, if he passes about the middle of that platform, what he's going to do is he's actually going to reset completely, and so he's going to disappear, and so you, it's not like you can just cut him to the beginning of the instance or something like that. Now, another thing that's interesting about this fight that makes it a little bit more difficult is that he, uh, he casts, or he doesn't cast, he goes into the middle of the room and casts a spell where he's just like standing in the middle of the room for half of the fight, as soon as see, I had I had him eat one there because it just kind of got a little bit too close, which that was okay since he was kind of low health anyway. And so again, it's a lot of micromanagement with your pet, kind of having your pet run around and all that other stuff. And so at this point, I've got all three of the soul fragments chasing him, and so I was pretty certain that right here I could pretty much get it done. As soon as he finished casting the uh, fourth soul fragment, uh, you can pretty much just go ahead and kill him, and. Uh, if, as I said before, at 50%, um, he's, he goes to the middle of his original room. And so at that point, you want to make sure that you aren't, uh, what do you call it? Or first, that you're able to push him. See, like, you want to push him right now. And see, I had to move him a little bit farther away so he wouldn't uh, have the things run to him. Because sometimes you might not be ready for it quite, quite then. And so uh, they turn around. And so make sure that you don't have them in his room. Because if you have them in his room, and also this slows you, and so this is kind of a pain in the ass. But again, he has very little health, and so it should be very easy for anybody who's like I'd say like 520 or higher to do this achievement without much trouble if they uh, if they're a pet class. If they're not a pet class, uh, you are going to have a bad time, and you need to have a friend with you. But as you can see, that's all it takes. Very easy to do. And so anyway, we're going to be on to the next one, and. Uh, this one is also pretty easy. I think it's called Three Faced. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have them up on the screen right now because I'm a fucking idiot. And I should have done that before so I could have the visual cue or visual aid. But I didn't do that. Uh, I'm just going off of my no life memory of the game. And so what's going to go on here is uh, the Vow the Bower of Souls is going to cast a spell called Phantom Blast. It's a 1.5 second cast, 1.5 to 2 second cast and you need to interrupt it. Now, the way you should do this is you should burn them down without having to worry about it. Uh, make sure you have at least one interrupt, interrupt it as soon as it casts, and then you kill them. Uh, the best way to do this, obviously, like, I could just one-shot them with Chaos Ball, right? And so you want to do something similar to that. Just run in here, pop all your cooldowns, and burn them down, and interrupt them as fast as possible. You're only going to need one interrupt. And if you can't kill them within the time that it takes them to, like, I guess, like the, uh, the spell lockout, uh, you probably shouldn't be doing this. You should, you should be uh, like in LFR getting extra gear. And so anyway, um, we're going to go to, I think it's the last one here. Uh, this one's really kind of fucking annoying because it takes a long time. And uh, it's in the Halls of Reflection. And it's from the last boss. And it's called, uh, we're not retreating, we're advancing in a different direction, if I am correct. And so what you have to do here is that, there's like this little event, and if you guys, I know uh, Lich King was kind of far away, and so I'll talk about pretty much what's going on here. Is that Jane is fighting the Lich King, and uh, then she's like, yo, the Lich King is, is going to go Chris Brown on my ass, and so I need to get the fuck out of here. And so uh, this is like, Crack Monkey, do you want to come with me while we get the fuck out of here? And Crack Monkey says yes. And at the same time that Crack Monkey says yes, you were on a timer. I think you're on a seven or six minute timer. It'll, it'll say on there. I think it's a seven minute timer. And so, what you have to do here is as soon as you talk to her, as I said before, it starts the timer. And so, you pretty much want to finish this. Now, if you finish this at any sort of a, a reasonable time, um, you're going to get the achievement. This is an achievement that was just awarded to you, like pretty much just by completing the instance. Like, I remember the first time this thing came out, um, it, we just like got the achievement the first time that we ever did it. And so, uh, don't be intimidated by this one at all. I didn't get the achievement here because I already had it on this character and I didn't want to, I think like I think I had to unlock Halls of Reflection or something like that on the character. Or, I don't remember, I think I was just here, I don't know where I did on him and I thought I didn't have it, but I ended up having it. Anyway, uh, 
too much information. So as you can see, also the Lich King does not die if you take him to one uh, one HP. I remember, like as soon as like Mr. Fandaria came out, like I was like for whatever reason like in here and I wanted to try it out. I was actually like really disappointed that I couldn't kill the Lich King uh, in Halls of Reflection. But um, anyway, so you want to make sure that none of the ads get past you. You just kill all of them. And honestly, uh, as soon as Janna opens up the way towards the uh, at the end. Um, you just run out there and then uh, she'll, like the Lich King will run after you and then, uh, well I'll show you what's going to happen here and so they run all the way up here and as I said before they're pretty much like I guess like a ship comes up and like shoots the Lich King and he's like okay I can't go through these rocks and so you know fuck it you know he just goes back to, back goes back to the frozen throne and does he does Lich King things. And so anyway, as you can see here, it's pretty much the uh, length of the thing. And so if you do this at any sort of reasonable speed, uh, you should be able to get this achievement. This is one of the easiest achievements in the game to get. Uh, it's basically awarded by completing the instance. And so anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. He's like harvesting your soul. And then some more things happen. Some RP happens. And then, oh, there's a ship and they're shooting him. And so, I mean, this seems like a lot better idea than having us go up to the Frozen Throne. Like, they should have just flown up to the Frozen Throne and just and just nuked them from there. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what the fuck they're, they're doing. But uh, anyway, I guess that wouldn't be as good of a story. So, uh, let's see. That's actually pretty much it. And so, again, the achievement is we are not uh, retreating. We're advancing in a different direction. And that concludes all of the ICC 5-man achievements. And so, hopefully, this is helpful. Um... If you guys need any like additional help, uh, just post on the comments. I'll let you guys know whatever you need to know. But anyway, that's it for today. So thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.